Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Scott Free, and this is The Sounds of Sunday. And yes, come back. Thank you for tuning in this afternoon on this July 5th, 2020 show. I hope everybody had a good 4th of July weekend. Um, 4th of July, yesterday. A lot of noise, a lot of banging around. Um, most people had a good time. I actually relaxed and um, with my dog, Bree. <laughs> I didn't want her to be out there getting all that noise and stuff like that, scaring her. So we actually listened to the fireworks and stuff like that, but mainly just stayed inside and chilled out. Coming up is my R&B music mix right here. The sounds of Sunday. Right back.
Hey, it's coming back. What you just heard is a nice little cut by Quintas, Quintas Morietta with Scratch the Itch right here on the Sounds of Sunday. Before that, you heard one by J.R. Tundra with Bar Crawl on this extended R&B music mix. Before that was Joe Bagal with Chicago. And kicking off this R&B music mix was one of my favorites by Diamond Ortiz with Respect and Eyes right here on the Sounds of Sunday. Thank you for tuning in this afternoon on this July 5th, 2020 show. It's uh, actually pretty hot down here. Um, the temperatures are actually rising up into the, um, basically the 9900 100, um, degree mark. Um, so I got my dog Bree out early this morning <clears throat> so she can get actually so I don't have to take her out this afternoon until later on. Um, if they want to be out there too hot. But anyway, thank you for tuning in this afternoon. I am your host, Scott Freak, where I play all my music that you've never heard of before. From content creators that you've never heard of before. Some of you may have heard um, more of my music um, selection from content creators. Some of, some of you may have not. But I'm glad you joined in this afternoon. Stay tuned. Coming up is my smooth jazz music mix right here on the Sound of Sunday. Kicking off this one, you're going to hear one by Joe Bagal with Thanks, R-G-E, right here on the Sounds of Sunday. Right back.
was a nice little cut by Cosmic with Late Nights. And before that, you heard one by Quintcos Moriella with Brooklyn. Nice little cut. Um, before that was Body and Attitude by DJ Freedom. Okay. And like I said, kicking off this one was one by Joe Begower with Thanks RGE. Right here on Sound Sunday. I am your host, Scott Free, your music producer and, and MC. Um, producing the music that you've never heard of, heard of before, so you may have, but I play them and promote them on my show every weekend. Um, uh, in the news, basically, I've actually, <clears throat> I have an opinion um, about this uh, required mask that's going on around the nation and basically sometime, um, somewhere around the world about this uh, required mask thing. Um, with all due respect for the CDC and the um, Dr. Fauci and all of them, I'm wondering, um, in my opinion, um, is all of this is all of this required mask, um, basic quarantine? Because I call it a quarantine, even though you're out and about, but you still have to wear a mask in certain places. I'm wondering, in my opinion, is this all the, all the um, a precursor? Um, for people actually once you get once you actually get get to a point where actually the masks are no longer needed basically are are they actually setting us up for the vaccine um because it seemed like it seemed like we're going to be actually in my opinion it seemed like we're going to be actually wearing the mask um until the vaccine is ready or something like that where they're going to try to make it mandatory there's going to be a lot of people in this country that's actually going to be filing, filing lawsuits um, under the Constitution. So I'm actually just wondering, um, is all of this mass requirement just a precursor or getting basically ready for the vaccine whenever it's ready, um, a vaccine, um, even though we don't have a the antibodies or whatever for the, uh, the COVID-19? I'm just really curious, okay, because like I said, um, it just seems like every every day and every week it's like people are actually more, they're shutting down businesses again and stuff like that because they're claiming that more people are getting COVID-19 virus, which is basically a flu, okay, but with all this mass requirement, I'm just wondering, in my opinion, is if this a, um, like I said, a precursor? for the vaccine whenever it's ready and people are going to actually be required to go back to work to go to bars and restaurants and stuff like that that where they're going to be required to be having a vaccine before they enter or before they go back to work um in my opinion it's not going to work in this country and basically around the world because actually what it's going to do is actually cause people to actually file file lawsuits okay um, because that's actually against people's freedom, okay? And let's say come out with basically people actually who are actually diagnosed with the virus, which is a flu, and it happens every year. They're continually, continuing to tell people that people are getting more, you know, more even, even better, worse, or whatever. Just like last week, they were talking about closing down the beach in Florida for the 4th of July. I'm, I'm thinking like, okay, that's kind of crazy because people are they definitely going to defy that. Um, and they did. Okay. Just on my opinion. Um, so I'm just wondering, people actually are getting fed up. Okay. Um, and I'm just wondering if this is a, um, they're doing all this because they're trying to get the vaccine through uh, clinical trials. And, and getting it authorized by the FDC, I mean, you know, FDA, which is another um, issue that I have, okay? Um, but anyway, I'm just, it's just in my opinion. Um, I think this country is going to see a lot of lawsuits um, in different parts, of, different parts of the world, actually. Um, especially because they're trying to get this, to me, trying to get this vaccine to come through clinical trials, which is why they're actually, in my opinion, while they're still trying to close down businesses, trying to make sure people wear, be required to wear masks. Um, I can understand the logic in it, but at the same time, um, it's going to bring a lot of, a lot of, uh, dissension 
Okay. Anyway, uh, that's it for me as far as the news. Oh, um, I'm still, I'm still online. we you know, for the uh, reparations. Um, shout out to my content creators. Um, the rep, excuse me, the reparations which are which are owed to us, overdue, a long time ago. Okay, and I'm really just actually online online in support of reparations we should have had it a long time ago and now it's actually an it's actually not a asking it's not it's not a asking at all it's a demand okay so <clears throat> if this country want to get back to you know sanity okay and any kind of cohesion I would um, I would suggest to the higher-ups powers that be um, to think about the reparations because actually we are we are fed up excuse me we are fed up with all of this injustice around his country okay and on top of that the, the wage you know the, the wealth gap in this country is way too far uh, way too far apart okay we got people in this country that actually coming over you know coming over here and actually getting a leg up where our people actually are still on the bottom and that doesn't make any damn sense to me okay so we're not we're not asking anymore we're demanding okay we're reparations all right you know reparations are owed and is due <clears throat> and shout out to my boy um my uh content creator uh, afrogen afro synergy brother t west um actually uh, starting next weekend i'm actually going to start putting out um a little you know little section little segment of the 21 point um African American point one point um, agenda, okay, um, that Brother T West has come up with, okay. So, like I said, shout out to my Brother T West. I am going to start uh, bringing those twenty one points uh, to my show. Um, probably do three a week until I get to all twenty one, okay. But anyway, this is your host Scott Free. Coming up is my last music mix of the day. Is my international music mix right here on the sounds of Sunday. Right back.
continue. It's coming back. That was a nice little cut by Silent Partner with Seven Floor Tango. And before that, you heard one by Nate, Nate Keith and Beat Mauer with Thinking About the Universe. And before that, you heard one by Unicorns entitled A New Orleans Crawfish Boil. Nice little flavor. And kicking off, this one was back to back with Silent Partner with Coast right here on the South of Sunday. Thank you for tuning in this afternoon on just July 5th, 2020 show, one day after um, the, fr- the, the fireworks and 4th of July weekend. I'm hoping you enjoy the rest of the weekend and be safe out there. Um, still some crazy stuff going on in, in Chicago. I'm not sure why, but that's basically what the media is actually reporting. Um, stuff that's actually being murder and everything up in um, Chicago, uh, like there's no other murders or nothing else going on around the world. <clears throat> Focusing on Chicago for some reason. But anyway, um, I am your host, Scott Free. Thank you for tuning in this afternoon. I am your host right here on the Sounds of Sunday. Thank you. Be safe out there. Keep your head on a swivel. And I'll see you back here next weekend right here on the Sounds of Sunday. Later. Huh?